be honest, I've been thinking a lot about the topic I'm going to talk about, um, as I wanted to come up with the idea, uh, we're spreading. Um, to tell you the truth, um, literally three days ago, I witnessed one unpleasant situation. Um, I was walking down the street, the street and uh, suddenly one young mother shielded her son from a man on crutches that was pass passing by. Um, then she said her son that better not to approach um, disabled people. Uh, the first thing that, that came to my mind was uh, how people can talk about tolerance while majority of them are not able to simply accept disabled people. Uh, apparently, uh, my topic is going to be about this issue that seems to be a hindrance um, and that uh, doesn't allow our society uh, enhance further. Um, uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, even if our mind and body are connected by impulses, fibers and other things, uh, we badly need to take into consideration that uh, we badly need to take into consideration the clear distinction between uh, mental and physical health. Um, in other words, disabled people should not be um, isolated only because of the fact that they are lacking they are lacking one part of their body. It's ridiculous how able-bodied uh, human beings um, per permit themselves to confine people with disabilities, but with the same level of cognitive skills. Uh, as an example, I can give you the quotation of Charles Dickens, um, try not to associate bodily defect with mental, my good friend, except for a solid reason. Um, all this more, um, what is more, uh, we uh, are by attempting to create favorable environment for disabled people, we are making the situation worse. Um, since this separation makes us look differently than them. Um, that is to say, disabled people um, are forced to witness um, oppressive attitudes, uh, lack of accessibility, uh, dwindling support services um, every single day. Um, as a result, this de deteriorates their mental health. Um, with the reference to a, a, to a new report by John Cox Commission on Loneliness, it was proven that uh, disabled people are more likely to be chronically lonely than non-disabled. Um, uh, owing to the barriers in daily life, um, and uh, in daily life and. Uh, a deep sense of isolation, as I, as I mentioned before. Uh, regardless, of, regardless of all the facts, we are able to tackle this problem uh, by allowing disabled youngsters to be educated in ordinary schools mm -hmm. to, in order to instill higher moral values in able-bodied children. Um, only this way we can avoid all the negativity um, disabled people are facing. Um, as uh, as uh, Franklin Roosevelt stated, we know that equality of individual ability has never existed and never will, but we do insist that equality of opportunity still must be sought. Thank you for your attention.